couple of videos. I'm with the group Bikers with a Cause, which was started by Zelda about 18 months ago. Um, I think Zelda would have looked at all of us and said, Ach, oh, you're a cool brother. Yes! That is exactly what Zelda would have said. And if she would have seen what was going on last night on the Facebook group, she would have laughed herself silly with all the shenanigans and everything happening. Um, with the right on, with the right off, with the right on again. So Zelda would have laughed herself silly. Um, I just want to give you a quick run through of, the, of what's going to happen today. Um, I'm obviously like the MC and that stands for Mistress of Ceremonies. I'm not a Master of Ceremonies. And um, then we're going to... There's a very special lady here. Our mom is Blumeni Almadi. She's on the end of the community to blow up and say, Hey, a bike. Yay! Yay! She's with her bike. She's got a bike. And Blumeni Tinas, our mom is with her. Very thank you. I would like to say very welcome to our special guest. This is the... I'm going to say it in English because I don't know how to say it in Afrikaans. That is the MEC for Transport in the Western Cape, Mr. Donald Grant. Welcome, Donald. Well done. I get my papiers so so great. I can read my papiers. I am in the city. It's like the point of view. My papiers. Okay. Um, so we only already have for us a lesson to do and a debate to do in not in a who's a hundred or something. Ik heb ook die taal niet op je baai gestrekt. En dan gaan Jacob Wessels, die ouwe wat in beheer was van die hele raad, en ek denk dat u een groot, groot handig zal sê vir jou. Ek weet nie wat so ons onder Jacob gedoen het. Alhoewel ek denk die goals van bikers wat ek koos, iets wat die voer sit, so iets is gedoen het. Misschien net iets is kleiner, maar ons daar iets gedoen het. Dankie Jakob. Daar gaan een gedicht gelees word dier Ilana wat Reta, haar een van Zelda sy beste maaikies wel geskryf het. En ek gaan die hele dienst dan, I'm going to speak about what Zelda stood for, who Zelda was, on behalf of the goals from bikers wat ek koos. I'd also like to welcome Anna Marie and Zayden. Anna Marie is Zayden's mom, and they are here today as well. Zayden is sitting right here, but you're Zayden, yeah, they can do that. Well, yeah, you see, see. Well, yeah, no. Anna Marie? Well, okay, I'm not seeing her. No, you see. Cool. Um, I'd also like to quickly do some special thanks to Oh My Word Kilani International Raceway. Wow, you guys have blown us away. Um, Des, Dave, Yvette, and everybody else from Kilani who are here today, who have pulled us off. They've just done everything. If I called Yvette at nine o'clock last night and said, we need this, she said, don't worry, then it's done. If I phoned Dave and said, Dave, can you help me? It was done, and there was no <coughs> questions asked. So, wow, Kilani International Raceway, you rock. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go outside, do a helmet salute, send Zelda off, and then we're going to come back inside and we're going to have a beer. Um, please, Kilani have also supported us by bringing in food vendors. There's a bar downstairs, there's a bar upstairs, there's, there's cool drinks, there's food, there's braai areas. And I will never say, I'm going to Engels and Afrikaans, but I'm going to see if you can get the next Afrikaans from this, just no comments for I. As I the field says, you're all going to make a choppy and a beer, but as I say, Let's have a barbecue, then you're going to say, I'm going to watch the loving. So, as you don't have a chance to stand here, for all, as a brief, like, someone langs you, or to buy a translator, special, and for them to see all the langs you. So, as I don't know what you're doing, what you're not doing. Any deaf people that can't hear me right now? Okay, so, look at what the sign language how you leave us before the night, so we're sorted on that track. Bathrooms are over there, guys, so if you need to go to the bathrooms. Um, cell phones are off. I would like to thank Martin's funeral services just very quickly. They have 
also been absolutely amazing. One of these, and I'm sorry, I don't remember the gentleman's name who drove the hearse. Anybody remember his name? Anton, thank you so much, you guys. You have been absolutely amazing because it's also been like a couple of calls that we had to make to them to change things around, and they've just been so, so, so accommodating. So we are so grateful to you. Thank you so much. Um, just quickly, some other people plugged a few of spa. They donated a lot of food, dolls, um, the guys that pick up cars that are broken brought um, Zalda Striker, which by the way is now for sale for the Zayden Trust. Um, speak to Mara, Mara Bazier. Mara, if you want to buy the trike, speak to Mara. Um, what's his name? Godfrey from Cavs. There were four bikes that broke down during this ride and Godfrey has agreed to go and fetch them all. We just need to get the names through to him, but I've told him basically where the bikes are. He's on his way back for project. He said he will follow the route and he will pick up those bikes. Amazing. Um, I'm just going to think quickly before we start with Romani. Because we're playing Romani as he's about eight years old, I'm going to be a bit dark, dark, and crazy. And this is the man. I was super proud of him, but then this is how my professional brother is. So I'm just a professional brother in the car. And then the last person that I will be doing is Zelda. Zelda is almost every day in song. So the Zelda song is almost every day here because he is the one. And we all know what that cause is. So, yes, let's just say thank you to Zalman. Okay. I know there is a uh, uh, PowerPoint running behind you. And um, so as you watch it, please just listen to the words from Almarie. Um, it's very important. I asked her to pass on a very, very important message to us today. So as we get a dark night, raise the knob as a bit, focus on what Almeri said, and I can't go on about Almeri. Okay, let's pray. Shall we pray? Let's do that. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We are all here. We are all alive and well. We thank you for our lives. We thank you for the chances we have and the choices we can make. Thank you for the free will that you gave every one of us. Um, we ask that you bless us uh, uh, in, in many ways that we can't even think about, that we don't expect. We ask that you open our eyes and our ears to the people next to us. Help us to let the love flow, and we praise your name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay, so, <laughs> so, I can't help none of you. My car is always by a climber of you. So, I can see how good it is to buy a means of a pretty. My car is not busy, blue, really. If my eye Bible is brand off, I like a car, so that I can. Ik kan voor dit voelen. Ik ga een klein stukje lezen uit 2 Korintiërs 4. Ons wat hier staat en ons heet, is maar klein potten wat makkelijk breekt. Die kracht wat alles overtreft, komt dus van God, niet van ons. En alles wordt ons verdrukt, maar ons is niet neergedrukt nie. Ons is maar raad verlieën, maar niet raad en loos nie. Ons wordt vervolgd maar nie dier God verlaat. Op die grond neergegooi, en dan nie vernietig. Die sterke van Jesus, die ons altyd saam in ons lichaam, so dat ook die lewe van Jesus sigbaar kan word in ons lichaam. Voor dier en dood ons wat lewe, ter wille van Jesus, uitgelewe aan die dood, so dat ook in ons sterkelijke bestaan, die lewe van Jesus sigbaar kan word. I just wanted to read that. Um, and I have only one thing to, to say. It's only going to take a few minutes. I really believe in my heart of hearts that we are all broken. Ons is allemaal stikkend. En ons denk dat dit ons grootste probleem en ons grootste uitdaging en ons grootste risiko in die lewe is. Maar eigenlijk is dit ons grootste verlichting, ons grootste schoonheid. En ons 
Dat eet die binnen. Die lewe die binnen. Is groter en belangrijker. As, uh, as een perfecte gezicht heeft. Eerst, as jy nie met vrees om stuk in te wees, dan kan jy dit wat binnen is, die man. En een vriendin sê vir my gister, sy het onlangs een breakdown gehad, maar sy sê, well, not a bad breakdown, but a, a personal breakdown. Sy sê, my ervaring was, eerst, eerst toe ek niks het om te verloor, toe mense waar kan sê wie ek is, en wat ek het om te gee. Toe ek niks met om te verloor, nie, toe kan ek vir mense sê, take me as I am, Hoe leef het? Hoe dan denk ek? Ek het nie gezond al gekend. Nie persoonlijk nie, ek het al gekend van sien. Maar wat ek, wat ek hoor by julle en wat ek weet, is dat sy rarig connected was aan die mense. Dat sy die vryheid gehad het om van ons self te gee oor ons was ek gegaan het. Sy nie met maskers geleef het nie. Sy nie bang was vir wie sy self binnen in is nie. Eers as jy, um, as jy bykie stikkend is, dan kan jy sonder vrees leef. Wat krijg is van die stikkie wat ek gelees het en ek sal amper klaar, is, um, ach jy nie weet dat mense, mense vat religion en dan mag hulle reel stop. And then we get it all backwards. <laughs> like the bush. Want ek denk raarig persoon dat Jesus was een van die most real people wat ooit in sy voet is by die aarde geloof. En die stikkie wat ek gelees het <coughs> gaan ook nie oor reels en perfect wees en weer goed wees. Want ek sê, ons is klein potte. Het is raarig dat ons woord sê, ons is potte en ons maak jy vreemd. Dan staan sy gewoon, ons is verdruk, ons is verlee, ons is vervolg. Ons is neergegooi, ons is uitgelever aan die dood. En nou wil ek nog twee dinge sê, dit is alles waar. Dit is alles waar. And we can't deny it. Jy kan nie op een badje min rai, as jy nie vrede weet, met die feit dat jy sterfig is. You can't do that. You can't trust your body if you don't know that one day I'm going to die and maybe it's today. Maar nou, die kleipotte is nie perfecte ornamenties. Hulle is nie gegrasseer nie. Hulle staan nie op een of ander kachelrak om mooi te leid. Die kleipotte is alledaags, it's ordinary people, en hulle is bruikbaar, they are useful. And that's why it's such a privilege to be able to say these few words in your presence and in Zelda's presence because I think she was really such a useful person. Ah, Sagrara, she gave everything she had. And I think that this is what our lever and what the Lord from the day of us Why don't you just not try to be an ornament? Just try to be useful. And give the love that you have to give. Don't be scared. <laughs> if people want to judge you, they will judge you. Let them be. There, there are lots more people who need you for who you are. And the last thing that we could in this fiche is we what? He burns out as a scut. It's such a treasure. En nou moet ek maar die doom nie wees en sê, won't you just remind your own soul today that the treasure that Paul is speaking about is the fact that God loves you. God does not love you because you're a pretty ornament. God does not love you because you're a pretty pot somewhere on someone's, someone's kachel. God does not love you because you are good or perfect or because you follow some set of rules. God just loves you. And he finds you useful just the way you are. So let's let's be that. Shall we pray once more? 
Lord, we just surrender to your love. We acknowledge that you love us. We have room for error. We have free will. We have choices. We have such a lot of energy and such a lot of caring and sharing to do. So, in the presence of your Holy Spirit, and the Father, and in your name, Jesus, we just want to pray, help us to be humble and open and broken. Never mind what people think. Help us to go out from here today and just be useful in the love that we give. There are so many people who need our love. Please, Lord, help us to not judge. Even us sometimes fall prey to that one and we set our foot in a trap and then we judge other people and we know that's not our job. We just want to be pots of clay, broken and humble, but satisfied with who we are. And we just want to go out and walk. Please bless us while we do that in Jesus' name. Wow, you is all in the coolest of you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Andre. I've been trying to think on Zelda. I thought was a good one to hear, but I've never thought on the on Zelda. Useful. She was extremely useful. She made herself useful to anybody and anybody and anything that needed her. So, wow, that was that was really beautiful. Thank you so much. I can only thank you so much, Mandy. Thank you for the prachtige bloemen. Thanks, Mandy. And which she arranged from Johannesburg and flew down to be here today. And then I would also like to say that beautiful Suzuki katana standing on the stage. Zelda rode a katana and she absolutely loved that bike. This is not the katana. Thank you, Dave Abrams, for organizing that because it belongs to one of the gentlemen here from Kilani. It's a beautiful bike. But yes, um, Zelda's favorite bike was a Suzuki Katana. Um, I'd like to call Yaku Vessels up onto the stage now. Please, big hand for Yaku. You get to the end of a, a week like this, and the last thing I did was think about preparing a speech. Um, there didn't seem to be much time for writing speeches. Um, so I'm gonna try and wing it. Lucy says I'm good at winging it, so I'll try and wing it. I've got a few points I do want to get across there. <clears throat> the thing that always gets to me on an occasion like this is it's always the wrong people that stands on the podium. It's not the people it's supposed to be. We have so many people who who come to the party and helped out. I had groups on, on, on WhatsApp that help communicate and assist. Um, and I spoke to them individually. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna try and thank all of them. I can't, I, I'm gonna say I'm to my phone now. I'm not gonna have all the names. There's a few that, that I stand out. The, the, the event um, permit team. You girls are here, you rock. We had a bit of a hiccup yesterday, you, you guys rocked. Um, I, I thank you for all the effort that went to, into that. The MAWC, when I approached them in the week with the exec meeting, um, and the Think Bike team that pitched up this morning to help us marshal, um, I thank you guys deeply and greatly. My own club, Hardy Davidson Club of Cape Town, a lot of my team and hop teams were helping out with the marshalling. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. It's it's always nice to have your friends and your club members stand up and support you. People I would have loved to have here that were invited with the police team, or the team of metro policemen who made the arrest. Uh, unfortunately, they were coming, but they had something urgent they need to attend to. I got that message when I got off the bike here. Um, these outs work without having their faces now. I was hoping 
to have them in the family, families here so we can salute them in front of their children because so, so often the policemen don't get the recognition for all the nights they don't spend at home and all the hours that they go out there and keep us safe. To the NEC, Donald Grant, my deepest thanks. Yesterday when everything was falling apart for the ride, he stepped up to the plate um, and made this happen. I was on a few phone conferences and having conversations with people we usually only see on TV. Um, and they really came to the party. It, it, everything was simply like put in place and said, it's gonna happen, we will make it happen for you. Um, Jackie from his office, Jackie Gooch, been on the phone with me till late at night, doing all the organizing. A great, great thanks to them. Otherwise, this ride would not have happened today. Thank you, Mr. Ross. I appreciate it. I want to thank every one of you for being here. Every one of you for taking part and supporting us and getting it done. Um, there was a post last night and it's still streaming in of thanks. Guys, um, against losing a life, I did very little. It's uh, a privilege. Guys, I want to talk about something that I feel is important for us and something I think why we need to stand up and be, be counted. If I stand here right now and I say, anybody here that farms, who has a father that farms, please stand up. A few of you will stand up. If I ask anybody who is an accountant or work in a factory or work in a garage to please stand up, some of you will stand up. If I ask you if you're in a same-sex relationship, some of you will stand up. If I ask you if you're black or colored or white or Indian, some of you will stand up. What you see today, this is South Africa. We have people out there that protest. We have people out there that protest just for farmers. And I understand the farmers' frustration but they get marginalized because they're a section of the community. We have people, youngsters right now, who can't go outside with eyes and flood on their stomachs watching TV in Bontiol because there's bullets flying through their windows and some of their parents are here today. This is South Africa. What we see here are not bikers. We don't, we're not even motorcycle riders. This is a small reflection of the true South Africa. We cannot com be com compartmentalized. We cannot be marginalized. Some of us own businesses, some of us work in businesses. It doesn't matter what sphere of society we talk about, this is us. And this is what Zelda's murder brought about. The outrage is not just amongst bikers. The outrage is amongst all of South Africans. We are a small referendum of that, and it's time for that to stop. We have the opportunity to stand up, be counted, be heard, and there is nobody out there who can marginalize us and call us racist, call us elitist, call us a section of society. This is society. This is who we are. I read a while back about the wolves of Yellowstone. Some of you, Yellowstone is a national park in the US of I. In the 60s, some bright spark decided to take out the, the, the wolves in the Yellowstone Park. And in 1995, they were brought back because it was causing an ecologi ecological disaster. Since the, the wolves were introduced back, the wolves are regarded as the apex predator in Yellowstone. What happened is the ecological system has started to repair itself. Suddenly there were beavers where they weren't. The reason is the wolves started hunting the elk. The elk was preying on the new trees and the trees closest to water and the trees with the least amount of snow and the least amount of cold because that's easier. 
Those trees were easy prey for the elk. And suddenly there was nothing to, to threaten them. They grew in numbers and they just started killing off the, the woods. When they killed off the woods, there was no beavers left or there was no wood left for the beavers to build dams. When there was no dams, there was no grass areas. The ecological system was dying. They brought them back in 1995 in a small pack of 12. Today, the ecological system in Yellowstone has repaired itself to a very large degree. Whether it will repair entirely, we will only see in a few decades from now. But that is what I feel we can do. Somewhere, somehow, we live in a society where us, the honest, good people, are no longer the apex predator in our ecological system. We have criminals out there who, who aim for the weak, aim for the isolated, aim for the easy targets. And that is why we stand here today. We, we got here today because they went for a lone lady parked next to the road for a few minutes literally and without blinking an eye, shot her three times. That's bad. That is what we stand against. And we can start doing this in small ways. We need to start pushing back against the criminals. I got a message from the sergeant in charge of the team that made the arrest. And he said, the reason they can't be here is they got information from a member of the public on another matter and they want to act on that before they lose the trail of the suspect, whoever he is in whatever matter he is. And he asked me to tell you that the only reason they were able to do this is because community people came forward with names, addresses, associations of this individual that was already arrested. They knew where to go hunt for him. That is a small thing we can do. We need to start putting the wolves back in our ecological system. We are the apex predator here. Never before in our country have so many people been threatened and terrorized but by so few criminals who simply come at us whenever they please. I live in Somerset West and I sit in the Somerset West coffee shops and restaurants and have chats and meetings with my friends and we don't talk about the problem in Manenburg because that's far away. We don't talk about the problems in Bonte Hill because that's far away. It's not our problem. And that we have to stop. That is the first small thing that needs to stop. The, the Alpha killed Zelda under the bridge didn't live under that damn bridge. He came from Manenburg or Bonte Hill or Beacon Valley or wherever the hell he came from. We have to start attacking them on there. I see in the news a couple of days ago Johannesburg got the Amabarete because they have a gang problem and a drug problem in one of their neighborhoods and I'm really glad somebody's doing it. What did we get? A minister with a hat and a 20 minute meeting. Nothing. We've had gang problems and drug problems in Cape Town for years. I, I, quite frankly, I think we've invented it in the country. And we don't get the support, but we need to stand up. We need to make our voices heard. We've, we've lived too long where we said it's not our problem. It's our problem. Because if it's not, when those guys have the time available and they need something, they're coming to your place at a time of their choice and they're going to come take it from you and it's going to become your problem or mine. That is what we need to stop. We need to put ourselves back in the spot where we are the apex of society. The good people needs to be the apex of society. We have, we have numbers. We, we, <laughs> if I would imagine how many gangsters there can be in Cape Town, we could, the real gangsters, not the frivolous little nonsense, steal 20 cent sweets from the shop, we could probably put them in this place. We could probably fit them all in here. All of them. Yet, we can, by just doing a Facebook page, fill the room as well. We are 10 times as many as them. 
but we can only fight them if each one of you contribute to the fight. This is not a political fight. I don't care which government or which city or which political party is to be blamed for what is happening in your... It's not them. It's us. We, we're the ones that live next to them. We're the ones that ride past them. We're the ones that feed them at the robots. It's us. The reason they roam the country free is us. We need to take responsibility. We need to stand up and we need to say, stop this now. I will no longer tolerate you next to my house. I will no longer have you here with people coming and going all the time and buying and selling drugs. I will report you. I will make sure that somebody gets hold of you. You have my number. If you don't want to speak to the police or you don't protect them, everybody here by now has my number. Unfortunately, if I look at, at my WhatsApp messages, please send me the details. I will convey it. Create small groups and let somebody convey it. But the reason we are terrorized, the reason people are dying is our fault. It doesn't matter about a government. A government cannot walk in and keep crime under control nowhere in the world. It is whether we stand up, whether we partake, whether we do our bit, and whether we help and strengthen the cops. These three oaks that's arrested for, the, for, for what happened to Zelda, each one of those arrests was based on information coming from some of us. Without those people, they the heroes. They should have been on the stand today, not me. They made the arrest. The police officers executed it. But that is what we need to do. And you can no longer wait till they feel your son, your daughter, your wife, your husband, and then cry foul. It is when they attack any part of society, that's when we stand up. So when we leave today, let us make a mind shift. Let us take responsibility for ourselves. We stand up all the time and we call for respect because we're bikers. Boys, respect is earned. It's not demanded. If you want respect from the cops, give it to them. If you want respect from society, give it to them. If you want respect, that's what it's all about, is you give it. Then you'll get it. You can't just stand on the line somewhere on a sidewalk with a megaphone in your little soapbox and go off about whoever is fighting you. No, you fighting me, I'm fighting me. That's where our problem lies. We need to change the way we look at it. We, we, we call ourselves a brotherhood. Stop when you see somebody in trouble next to the road. It's, safety lies in numbers. Look after anybody you don't have to know him. Take responsibility because today, as from today, I am citizen Zelda. I do not want to be accosted under a bridge. And if I want, don't want to be that, I'm going to have to start taking my finger under my dumbass and start doing something about it. We need to start pushing back. And it, the market community has always believed that we have the power, the strength, and the numbers to push back. We have one weapon which none of the other pressure groups have. We are society. What politicians see here is exactly what is outside in our country. There's, there's no difference. It doesn't matter what you do, what you wear, what you ride, where you live, nothing. We are a very true reflection of society and I know of no other pressure group that has the same ability or can say the same. But we need to be citizen Zelda. Each one of us have to push back against an attack on me and an attack on you. Strengthen the hands. Help the people that's up there helping us. The Metro Police have shown us that they are willing to go out there, do the arrest, get the guys going, even if it's SAPS didn't do it for whatever reason. Metro went out and did it for us. Because otherwise, one of us would have been stuck next to the road next week and we would be here back here two weeks from today. So you and me make this our mission. Make this our small thing. 
might test our wounds we put back in the Yerushalayim uh, Park. I am Citizen Zelda. That is my mission from today. Thank you. You understand why. <laughs> okay, guys, um, before I talk about Zola, I just want to let you know, somebody asked me, will there be a donation box here today? I have brought a donation box. I will put it there next to the canvas for anybody who would like to donate. People don't always like doing EFTs or going to the bank. There is a box for the Zayden Trust. All right, just, um, I'm, I'm speaking about Zelda on behalf of her friends, the bikers with the cause girls. All the helmets you see on the stage right here belong to the girls bikers with the cause. It was started by Zelda October last year, I think. We started off with about nine, 11, 10 or 11 girls, and it's grown to, I think, 23 girls and two guys. And um, a lot has been done in that time for people who are needed. But I want to say that when, when, I, when I started writing my eulogy yesterday, I said, let me get back to say eulogy next day. I think this is it. Here. What? We're here with Twitter. Thank you. That is a year with Twitter. So this is a Christian Premier strike. This is all the drama there. I didn't need to laugh as a friend. So I've also got a wing a little bit today. Um, so I started looking up on my, in my, um, old Oxford English Dictionary, which is now officially known as the Google. And I started looking up words, and I started looking up words like um, legend, and hero, and awesome, and fantastic. All those words, and yeah, they all kind of describe Zelda. And then I got to a point, and I found this phrase that said, badass fighter chick with a heart of gold, and right next to it, I could just see the word Zelda Famiga. Yes. So I'm going to write to the old Oxford English Dictionary and tell them they've got to put that phrase in. Um, I met Zelda about three years ago. We were out on a ride, a, a group of other girls, and we were out at the dunes in Hart Bay. We were having lunch. And um, somebody said to me, there's a girl here on a bike, and she's asked to join us. And I said, well, bring her over. And, um, she kind of started walking over and I looked at this chick in her leather pants, her, her denim, her jeans and her leather waistcoat filled with badges and her chain hanging from her hip and this like brush cut cool <coughs> hairstyle that you see on the canvas. And I looked at my daughter and, and she looked as though she just stepped out of like a Mad Max movie. <laughs> I was a bit afraid of her. And I said, I kind of whispered to my daughter, Oi, this one's going to be cool. <laughs> Could I have been any further from the truth? I promise you, I was so wrong. You know the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. Unfortunately, that day I did it. I was so wrong. Um, I guess I need to go to my eulogy quickly. Um, so Zelda didn't walk. I don't know if you girls noticed it. I mean, when I walk down the passage, I sound like a herd of buffalo storming down on people in the Kruger National Park, the tourists, the Japanese tourists. And um, so I'm loud. I'm like a loud walker. But Zelda used to like swish. She like swish. She would like just swish into her room. Uh, it was like her feet didn't touch the ground. She was always floating, especially when she was proud of herself. She had this like swish. So she kind of like. Um, wherever we went. So, um, yeah, let me just find my place. Sorry, I'm losing myself. At that luncheon, at the dunes in Hart Bay, Zaldit was started telling us, she kind of just fit in immediately. She swished over, sat down, lit a cigarette, ordered a beer, and she just fit in as though she'd known us all for the past 20 years. And um, she started telling us about Anita and how, how ill Anita was and that she'd been fighting cancer for, so, for such a long time. But that Anita absolutely loved bikes. But because of her illness, she couldn't ride. So the group of us decided, okay, that's it. We're going to go and visit Anita one Thursday night or Friday night on our bikes and just go and meet her and surprise her, which we did. And I promise you, it might have been one of the best nights of my life. Um, Anita was blown away. Zelda was as proud as Punch. She was just like swishing around. And um, yeah, Zelda and Anita just became such an integral part of our community, our like, little biker community. 
when Anita was so sick with cancer she could hardly breathe, she said to Zelda, we will go to Rally in the Valley. I don't think that year, the year before last, she didn't go on a bike. I think she went through by car, but when she was at the rally amongst the girls with the bikes, she was at her happiest. She just blossomed, and of course, Zelda was just so proud of herself. So, um, I think it was always Zelda's mission to help people. I think she was born a helper. Um, so, as you know, she started Bikers with a course, and we started um, collecting funds and things. Okay, I, if I remember correctly, the first little thing that we did, we, we um, somebody donated a bottle of alcohol for us to auction. I mean, who donates alcohol to Bikers? Really? <laughs> Give us flowers all the day. So we got donated a really nice bottle of alcohol from Tish in Johannesburg. And she said, auction it, see what you can raise, and then whatever you've got, go and buy food for this children's home in Friedenburg. So between the bunch of us, we started selling raffle tickets. And by the time we had to do the lucky draw, we, we um, collected 3,000 rand. We went to a little coffee shop, and we did the draw, and um, whose ticket came out first? And she refused to take the prize. Um, so we had to force her to take the prize. And I think she, she was eventually bad that she did. I don't know if she ever drank that with you guys. So that was just Zelda. You know, she was just such a loving, absolutely fantastic, wonderful person. She was so clip and grapjes. She had grapjes gemaakt, net waar ons gegaan het. Gaan nou met jou praat, hoor. En ek gaan gewoon met al die ander mense praat. Um, okay, so we had another video that we wanted to play, it was the Muddy Princess, but we had to get it off of Facebook and then onto and a video from Facebook, it was a nightmare. It is here, but it's upside down, so we can't play it. But, um, so in that video, Stan Zal is with Muddy Princess, it's a plump girl, so I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I'd rather go to the New York Bagel, bagel and listen to Jewish women complain about their husbands. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Um, okay, so in this video, there's a bunch of girls and Zelda's in a pink tutu, and so is all, all the other girls. And Zelda's over this massive hurdle, these tires that you've got to like climb up, and she's standing there encouraging all the other girls to get over this hurdle. And you can just go to you and say, "Come on, Katie, yes, up and go. Come on, girl, over you can't deal with tires. Can you even wear the tires?" And she's like, Ilana's going, Mala, go to my mouse And she's like, Nee, but kijk for your mouse scene. Come on, come on. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to end off now. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted everybody to get a very, very clear, very good idea of what uh, Zelda was all about. I can now go to Fra. What was Zelda's favorite drink? Captain Morgan, who doesn't like it, Captain Morgan, I personally don't. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol, but yeah, I mean, Captain Morgan was, was all the same thing. Without ice. Okay, everybody who's going to have a Captain Morgan's tonight, drink one on Zelda. What was our through and buy killer? Katana. She never Katana. She had that freaking never Katana on her everything. That was her. Wat was haar ginstelling kleur? Blauw. Blauw, soos ons allemaal nou weet. Dankie vir allemaal wat haar kleur gedraad vandag. Wat was haar favorite spreek woord? Lekker man, lekker. Ok, nie het alleen, hoe nie het alleen, ek kan nie dit sê. Ja, daar het mama die meis, of nie het alleen. Nie so my nie sê my alles, julle goed. Ok, maar zelf dat ek die beswaard was, moet my nou nie emotioneel onstabiel maak nie. Ok, as ons gaan kwaad gemaakt het, moet my nou nie onstabiel emotioneel onstabiel maak nie. Ok, wie was die mannekie in haar leven? Zijden! Zijden! Sit jy aan op Zijden! Zijden! Wat het sy hom genoeg? En wat was haar beste therapie? Dit was Zelda sy beste therapie. As hy my gebel het en gesê, Linnie, ek is nou so nie moe. Dan sê ek, ek wil gaan rui. So ek al baie kan hoor, ek twee dagen had ek vanaf. Zelda sê, ek sê, ja, I'm fine. What's the problem? Dan sê ek, gis, twee dagen moet jy nie moe. Nou, I went for a ride. 
Oké jullie, dit is al wat ek nou gesê het van Zelda. Dit is hoe ons Zelda geken het, dit is hoe ons Zelda gaan onthou. En I'm going to hashtag this forever, I am Zelda. I am Zelda people. And I think it broke everybody's hearts. She was the only one who can express what, what people felt for Zelda, so here goes. Um, Vandaag breek een stukje van my hart, maar ek stier die stukje saam met jou, om altijd na by jou te hou. Vandaag gaan haar een bykie van ons mens lees door, die bykie wat die elke dag neem dit kon hou, wat jy gevoed het, en ons saam kon bouw. Vandaag verloor ons die tijd van ons leven, waarin jy elke dag neem kon hou waar ons soveel gehad het om elkaar te sê. Vandaag stond die traan op my wang, as teken van ons tijdens saam, my geheel gevlek met jou naam. Vandaag praat die seer die in ons binneste, maar ek gaan jou nie benewe, vir jou saam met Anita, al wil ons jou so graag hier hou. Vandaag gaan ons hele wezen, wat ons weet, dit wat ons bid, sy nou mens nie nou gaan weer vind. Vandaag gaan ek vir jou inpak, ons liefde, dankbaarheid, herinnering en omgeer om jou elke dag in die vreemde warm te gaan keer. Vandag is jou plek in ons hart nie meer, ook nie beskikbaar. Dit behoort altyd aan jou en is met jou nog daar. Vandag stond die traan op my wang, as teken van ons tye is saam, my geheer gevlek met jou naam. En as jou hart het op wat ek aan ons gegeven het, aan jou wat ek is morning, hoe seer is het nie om vir iemand na aan jou versies te sê nie? En maar was nie eers een tyd nie dan gehoor nie. Nie seker te wees wanneer en of een mens mekaar weer gaan sê nie. My trane, ons trane, die kan baie gevoel. My wees het die oomlik spaar voor een wou. Die trane is baie, maar sal minder wil vir die tyd maak. Maar die weer gaan kwin in my, sal altyd daar wees. Ek gaan nie baie moe wees. En dank u wel met my, dank u wel met die dag te doen. Ok jylle, baie dankie. Thank you so much to everybody who took part today. Much love, honour and respect to all of you. Let's go do a moment of salute and then please come back, buy some food, buy some meat and